Hey everyone. I hope everyone's having a blessed day. I'm just going to show you all how to do a tutorial or give you guys a tutorial on how to install AMP by Cube Coders onto Proxmox. I'm going to have all the links in the description, all the copy and paste that you need. If you want to go to the links, you can. If you want to just copy and paste, that works too. I'll give you that choice for that. Anywho, first things first, let's go to Proxmox helper script, type in Debian. We're going to be using Debian LXC. Debian LXC is a container base. It uh, uses less resources, but we're still going to add more resources to it. So uh, go ahead and hit copy. It's more lightweight than an actual full pledged virtual machine. Um, these are the default settings. We're going to wind up changing that. Go ahead and go to Proxmox. If you're already in data center or something else, go ahead and hit this one right here, which is normally collapsed. Uncollapse it if you want. It's up to you. PVE, and then you want to click on shell. You want to right click. You can't hit control V, otherwise it doesn't work. If you hit control V and then you, uh, then you try to paste it as regular paste, it won't work. So go ahead and hit paste as plain text. Hit enter. Doesn't always work. Should verify that with you. Um, this will create a new Debian Linux uh, LXC. So go ahead and hit yes. We are not going to do advanced settings. Um, I'll tell you why in a second. If you want to do advanced settings, that's totally up to you. You can go do that, but that's not going to be in this tutorial. Go ahead and hit yes. Do default. So in the green, it shows everything that it's going to do to distribute um, allocated resources and so forth. Um, it's Debian 12. tells you the version. This is Bookworm, which is the latest. Uh, it doesn't tell you Bookworm. I just know that 12 is Bookworm. Uh, it tells you your container ID, what it's going to be called a Debian. Uh, it's two gigabytes of uh, disk space. So we're going to wind up changing that. I'll show you all here in a second. For optimal disk space, you want at least 100 gigabytes if you are going to be doing more than one gaming server. So if you're going to do Power World and Minecraft and whatever else, uh, if you're going to do more than one, you want at least 100 gigs. Allocation of, requ of resources for cores, you want at least four cores, V cores, virtual cores, or regular cores. Um, and here, I, I don't really know the difference for that. Anywho, you want at least eight to t 16 gigabytes of RAM. For this purpose, I'm going to do 16 gigs, but I'll show you that in a moment. As for the bridge, don't worry about the bridge uh, if you don't know what it's about. It just has to do with your ports and the back. Uh, as for network connected down below, it says 10.10.10.71. Remember the first part because we're going to change that last number. Uh, don't remember it for my end. Yours is going to be different. Yours is probably 192.168.1. something. Uh, it could be 10.0.0. something. Uh, those are the two most common. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go over here to Debian. Since it has been completed, it says root at PVE. Uh, complete successfully. There. We're going to shut it down. From here, once it shuts down, this will turn gray over here on the left. Go to resources, change the RAM. I'm doing 16 gigs. So for me, 16 times 1024. So whatever amount of gigabytes of RAM that you're going to do is times 1024. You want to leave swap at 512. So if it's not utilizing all 16 gigs, it won't. It'll fluctuate. Cores, you want at least four. Disk, you click it once. If you double click it, nothing happens. Click it once, then click volume, action, and resize. So on this, you want to add 98 gigs to make 100. If you want 102, that's totally up to you. You can just add 100, but 98 gigs. I'm going to hit resize, and then I'm going to pause the video, come right back as soon as it's done. Now that it's done, it says task OK. That means that it's already resized. If you look back up here, it says 100 gigs or 100 G for a root disk. Now we're going to go to network, and we're going to set that static IP address. Just double-click anywhere in here. 
Remember the bridge. Don't worry about this. If you don't know what it's about, just leave it default. I'm changing mine for my own purposes. Go to static IP, well, static for this and instead of DHCP. And I want to change my last number to nine. And then you want it forward slash 24. Uh, you need forward slash, forward slash 24 to be able to do this. It's the IP range of uh, 1 to 255, I believe. Anyways, your default gateway is going to be the same as your IP address, but with the one at the end. Normally, that's the case. So 192.168.1.1 or 10.0.0.1. I have VLAN set up, so mine looks way different. Hit OK. Next, we're going to change the name of this from Debian to AMP. I'm going to just change it to AMP Tut for tutorial, just for my own usage. You could name it whatever you want. Hit OK. Sometimes it takes a second to change it, but I'm going to go ahead and go to console now and hit start now. All those resources are allocated now. As you can see, automatic login, don't have to log in the root, it's already there. We're just gonna run this other uh, command, right click, paste this plain text, this is in the description. This is the update and upgrade, if there are any. It's just by habit, I always do it more than likely there won't be any upgrades and you won't have to install wget curl 0000 because with this script it normally updates everything as well but i still do that by habit it's a good habit to have next we're going to go to cube coders copy this and then we're going to paste this over as plain text i'm not hitting enter yet primarily because this shows my home IP address. I don't feel like blurring it out, so I'm going to talk you through the rest of it. There's not much left. I'm going to drag this over out of the way. Well, as soon as it lets me. There we go. Now that's out of the way, I can go ahead and hit enter. There it'll tell you your distribution, your platform, your internal IP, external IP, and so forth. Because it shows my external IP, I moved it off to the side so I don't have to try to blur it out. I don't. I'm a little lazy to be able to do post-production right now to blur things out. So anyways, uh, username, admin, uh, you want to change this to whatever you want because this is going to be your login for AMP. Go ahead and type in whatever you want. I'm going to use admin for myself. Then it's going to ask you for a password twice. And then confirm your password. And then it says using Docker is strongly recommended. Go ahead and hit Y. It'll automatically go to the next step for enable HTTPS. Unless you have a domain name and you know how to use Let's Encrypt, hit no or N for no. So now it says installation summary. Installation summary, AMP system user uh, to be created and then instant manager to be installed. No HTTPS for our purposes for this tutorial and then install Docker and then not required, not required for the other two. Go ahead and hit enter. This is gonna take upwards to five minutes or so. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll be right back. Alrighty, hopefully you've paused the video so that uh, the installation process could have gone through. So at the end of this, it says waiting for user to complete first setup in browser. If you did it right, your static IP address should show that it says please visit HTTP 10 or 192, whatever that is, but it's colon 8080. So we're going to do that. We're going to go... 10.10.10.9 for me, colon 8080, depending on have you, how you had that set up. Hit enter.
type in whatever you did for that. I'm not going to save this. It's going to be the first time set up. Next. This is where you put your license key and I'm not going to do this. Uh, so from here on out, I'll probably have some other tutorials on how to add different game servers such as Pal World, Pal World or something else. Um, anywho, this concludes the tutorial. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day.